Well, good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight on the webinar. Uh, for those of you that I haven't met, my name is Dr. Stephen Moore. Uh, I'm a chiropractor. I went to school at Palmer West Chiropractic College, and I've always had a fascinating uh, fascination for wellness and nutrition and prevention. Um, I was actually originally studying to be an orthopedic surgeon and uh, shifted away from that field and wanted to go into wellness. And I think that chiropractors are the best trained wellness providers that are out there and uh, flew out to California to go to school. So um, that's a little bit about me. When I had graduated, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I got introduced to uh, this company because um, I've been working on this project now for about 15 years. Um, at first, it was just a tool that I wanted to use to help people in my community. Um, I had graduated. I was looking at all the different brands that were out there that we get exposed to. Uh, there's so many of them and um, some people like some more than others. And I thought that I was going to go and evaluate all the different brands, go through the catalogs, get accounts with them, and then pick the best from each company. But I ended up having the same problem that I'm sure many um, other providers have as well, which is how do you know if one brand product is better than the other one, if there's not uh, an objective way of testing? And I didn't want to just buy you know, into some company's philosophy or buy into their story. And so what had happened was um, I got introduced to this technology, the biophotonic scanner, when it was in its infancy. Um, I think like many of you, I was skeptical at first, but I said, well, what if this is a, a legitimate technology? I had gone to school in the Silicon Valley. There are lots of interesting technologies that were coming out. And when I started to evaluate the technology, um, I had seen that it had, I was actually invented by the National Institute of Health for government grants at the University of Utah Center for Biomedical Optics. It wasn't a device that was invented by a vitamin company to sell more products. So we see a lot of pseudoscience and goofy gadgets at a lot of the conferences. And I wanted to make sure this wasn't one of them. And the fact that this was designed independently through government grants at a major university, independently of the supplement company, um, I saw that there wasn't a lot of bias that went into it. And so as I furthered my, my research, um, I became very impressed with the legitimacy of the device. I began using it. I saw the impact it was making on people in my community. And um, not only did um, I get involved with uh, testing people to create more awareness for wellness and prevention and getting great results with the products, but I also saw that this is something that could really make a huge impact in really doing something that I think we're all passionate about, which is shifting healthcare away from disease management and towards prevention. To finally have something objective that we can put in front of a patient and say, you think you're healthy, um, but we have a number now based that looking at your diet and lifestyle that's showing you that there's a lot of room for improvement. And when you can give someone a number, it becomes emotional and personal to them. Uh, if you're using other objective tools, you'll see that, whether it's an x-ray or something else. And being able to have this device, which is essentially like a nutritional x-ray, it really creates awareness and gets people connected to their diet and their lifestyle. And then I wanted to evaluate the brand because I had all these other brands. The last thing I needed was another supplement brand. And so I started to evaluate the, the brand and I did things a little bit differently rather than looking at the labels, which, you know, I'm not a pharmacologist. I'm not a biochemist. Um, I don't have a lot of these degrees in product development. Um, so what I did is I started to evaluate the company and the research engine. And what you're going to hear tonight is a little bit about that research that I did uh, to give you an overview, not only of the technology, the science, um, as well as the business model. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to move through here and one of the things that we have in healthcare is, um, and I know I'm preaching to the choir here with chiropractors, I do this talk to a lot of medical doctors as well uh, around the United States as well as South America, because we're really making a huge impact and uh, on the way that people look at their health. And so we know that diet and lifestyle is the number one cause of preventable disease. And you know, up until now, we really haven't had a convenient way to measure it. Uh, what we found is after about uh, 30 million scans that have been done, we find 94%, a whopping 94% of the people fail the test. Now, you think that that's a lot, but you look at what people are eating and it's, it's not a surprise that we have such a high failure rate. And what's happening now is people are turning to, in addition to improving diet and lifestyle, they're also uh, turning to supplements because we know that the nutrients are depleted in the soil, they're depleted in the food. So not only do we have lousy food choices, but these nutrients aren't typically in the food unless we're growing them organically in our backyard and so forth. So 
right now you've got a 37 38 billion dollar uh, market in supplements that are currently being sold through all sorts of channels and i think there's a like many of you that there's a lot of problems with the quality of the supplements that are out there and now we've got a way to really address this and so I know that many of us are not happy with what's happening with prevention um, in America. Uh, reimbursements are becoming more and more challenging. And what's happening is the lifestyle of uh, many um, healthcare providers is becoming more and more difficult. And so what we're going to talk about here tonight is how we can improve healthcare, um, how we can help really shift the mindset of the patient away from disease management and towards prevention and wellness, how this is a great tool to help chiropractors to do that. Uh, it's also a great tool to attract more patients to the practice, adding more value to the office visit, getting patients coming in more frequently, having fun, having having a competition, so to speak, and really empowering patients and giving them feedback that the changes that they're making towards wellness are actually making a difference. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on the fact that our diets are inadequate. I think many of us understand that. Uh, there's a huge demand for supplements. And Really what we have here, in, in my opinion, and many other providers, is we have a better solution, a better way of offering um, uh, supplements to patients and encouraging these patients to make some changes in their diet and lifestyle. There's a great company behind this, and then we'll talk about the revenue. Um, I've been able to help some physicians earn over a million dollars since they put this into their practice. Uh, more importantly, they've been able to help their patients dramatically, uh, but uh, having another revenue stream is certainly important as well. So. We all know that the disease states in America are getting worse because we're not focused on prevention. And when you really look at the top diseases in America, they're all metabolic diseases. They're, they're related to our diet and lifestyle. They're, most of them are preventable. And in America, we do a very poor job doing that. And I think chiropractors are very well positioned to get the attention of patients. Um, in addition to providing adjustments, I think that there's a lot more we can do uh, to help improve the care that we're delivering to patients. Uh, right now, uh, healthcare expenditures are $4 trillion. It's a big, big problem. And and like I said, um, you've got about 10% of the population seeking out chiropractic care. I really think there's a, a lot that we can do in the wellness arena that I know many of you are moving into as well. So point number two, let's talk about diet and lifestyle. Uh, we used to think you can get everything from diet, but we know that you can't. So the USDA did a study 22,000 people, nobody's getting a, even the minimum RDAs of the 10 most essential nutrients, nowhere near optimum. I mean, we're not even getting RDAs. Uh, all adults, uh, according to uh, JAMA, should be taking a multivitamin. So this is where things started to shift uh, mainstream for nutritional supplements. Um, we've all prom been promoting it as chiropractors, um, but even medicine now is embracing supplements, and this is uh, continuing to accelerate. There's still a lot of ignorance, so to speak, but uh, we're seeing uh, a big shift in, in the uh, ability for people to improve their health through supplementation. A half of your patients are buying a supplement according to the CDC, and there's no real easy way to measure the effectiveness um, objectively. So you've got a lot of issues with the quality of the supplements that are out there. And when you look at this, the supplement market is still growing by one to $2 billion a year. This year, I think it'll top 38, $39 billion. This is a huge opportunity um, for chiropractors to get involved, to, to really offer better quality care and better quality supplements with a test and a way to measure it. So a lot of confusion that patients have is what supplement do you take and how do you know if it's working? Now, there was a lot of brands that I had and I would kind of recommend it to patients and I hope it was working. I'm not quite sure if it's the best product for them to take because I never had an easy way to, to measure it. And uh, I don't want patients going to the teenagers at GNC or, you know, this lady over here saying, you know, trust me, I'm the manager. I think that as providers, we're, we're much better positioned to give better advice to patients. And if you look at the potential lost revenue uh, per physician, uh, there's about $700,000 of business being sent out the door in, uh, in supplements when you look at the size of the market here. So this is uh, what I believe and many other providers believe is a better solution is uh, a way to test and uh, a way to recommend a product that's been proven and guaranteed to improve the to improve antioxidant levels and then to be able to retest them and, and give patients feedback on on how they're doing. So the newest version of the biophotonic scanner is the third generation. Um, like I said, I've been involved for 15 years since it was in its infancy. So many of you that may have gotten exposed to it back then, 
Um, it was a, a technology that was um, pretty incredible in the lab. And there were some challenges in the beginning, like anything new. It was almost like the brick version of the cell phone, the, the first generation. But the technology has come a long way since then. It's now completely portable. It's battery operated. It runs off an iPad. And um, we get nearly 100% response rate on the supplements with an improvement uh, in their score. And so, you know, we measure things in healthcare, whether it's blood pressure, whether it's vitamin D, and then we, we evaluate how the recommendations are actually making a difference. Um, and now we've, for the first time, we've got a very easy, objective way to, to quantify antioxidants and oxidative stress, which also plays a big role in, in inflammation in the body, which we're all interested in. So um, free radicals and antioxidants are really the, the good guys versus the bad guys. Many of you know this. And what we're able to do with this technology for the first time is to measure these antioxidants non-invasively. Uh, the more antioxidants you have, the higher your score, the more protection you have. The more free radicals that are coming into your system, the lower your score is. So it, this device is actually measuring this balance between antioxidants and free radicals. And if we look at a cross section of, this, of the cell, you know, we have a lot of these um, antioxidants here that are protecting the cell. So vitamin E being fat soluble sits within the, the membrane. Vitamin C is intrinsic and extrinsic and it's uh, effect at quenching free radicals. And if you look at these, um, these carotenoids, these are what give the fruits and vegetables their color. They're fat soluble and they sit in different angles and positions within the cell membrane as really a first line of defense against oxidation. When you oxidize this phospholipid bilayer, remember fats are very vulnerable to oxidation. And if you look at cell histology, we kind of tend to think, you know, that the membrane is really just a bag of keeping things in, but really there's a tremendous amount of function that takes place uh, in the cell membrane. You've got hormone receptors, you've got gap junctions and all types of things that are taking place um, uh, within this membrane. And when it starts to get oxidized, it starts to become dysfunctional and that's what leads to uh, disease and, and cell death and all kinds of issues. And so high levels of antioxidants and specifically these carotenoids are what are protecting the cells and they play a huge role in reducing the risk of almost every disease that's out there. And so what we can do is we can give someone a baseline score when they come into the practice. And so many providers have this as a routine test. Everybody gets tested that comes in, they get their baseline score wherever it is. Uh, they start on the therapy. So it's not just about taking supplements. This also motivates people to make the more difficult changes in their diet and lifestyle. And we know that New Year's resolutions don't work. You know, people kind of keep up with them for a few weeks and then they fall off because there's no accountability. We know that to really make lasting changes, uh, people really have to wrestle with some of their bad habits. And so patients to be able to come into your practice every month to get feedback, to see how they're doing, really empowers them to uh, make these changes a little bit at, at a time. What we found on the supplements uh, that Pharmanex makes is within two months, there's a significant improvement in the score um, or Pharmanex will give them their money back. So I got tested the first time. I kind of put it to the test myself. Um, I thought I was going to do great. I had a very clean diet um, and I only scored 31,000, which if you were to grade me was like a C minus. And when I started to look at my diet, I knew I was eating clean, but it, I really wasn't focused a lot on fruits and vegetables when I had camp, come out of school. And so this created a lot of awareness to focus more on fruit and vegetable consumption. Um, I also realized the supplements I was taking weren't doing a good job boosting my antioxidants. So I switched to the Pharmanex brand. And my score of 31,000 got up to about 70,000 on the supplements and some changes I made, a huge improvement. And then I saw this device on the Dr. Oz show and I saw Dr. Oz beat me. He got a 75,000 and I just got a little competitive and started juicing. And um, my high score has been 90,000, but I typically, you know, average somewhere in the, in the 80s. So what happens is you get the baseline score. We see improvements in about a month or two and um, it takes about four to six months and then you'll be able to fully saturate uh, the tissue levels. People will tend to plateau and then you just want to main, maintain uh, those levels through supplements and a healthy diet. So after about 30 million scans, we know people score. We know where your smokers score in this red zone. Uh, cancer patients, HIV patients, diabetics, chronically ill, morbidly obese patients will be in this red zone or, you know, sometimes we don't even get readings on them. The average Americans in the orange zone, not much better. That's your typical average American diet. Um, and the average person on the Pharmanex Life Pack product is in this high green zone. 
Um, if they're taking our better package, life pack and the age lock youth product, which I'll talk about, uh, we can get most people into this blue zone and really boost their antioxidant levels. We know that people that have very healthy behaviors are going to score in this uh, high zone. Um, only about 5% of the populations in the green, about 1% in the blue or higher, uh, which really is in alignment with what people are eating. But with the help of these supplements, we can get everybody into these top zones for the most part, unless they've got some significant chronic illness. There's, there's only some limitations that we can do because of the inflammation going on in their body. Um, a little bit about some validation of the technology. So this is a 10 year study that was published uh, on the device by Yale University. Um, it was an independent study done by Yale. The USDA was involved. And uh, what they concluded was that this device uh, can accurately measure these carotenoids. And it's really a great biomarker of overall health status, looking at diet and lifestyle risk factors for disease. So in 30 seconds, we can really see how somebody is doing. What's nice about this versus the blood is obviously it's a lot less expensive. It's much uh, more convenient. You get the results right away. But you don't see day-to-day -day changes with uh, the antioxidant score because it's measuring in the tissue, which is more accurate than the blood. And it takes really several weeks to several months to start seeing some changes. This, this um, measurement, it kind of operates a little bit more like a hemoglobin A1C than a blood sugar test. So you're really getting a better representation of what that patient's behavior is over time. There are 85 studies that have been published in peer-reviewed journals supporting this technology. So this is well-validated. Uh, not just by the literature, but um, uh, Texas Tech Medical School's got th several devices. Uh, Stanford University's also published research on it. It's being used at about 100 other universities uh, throughout the world for uh, research on the role of antioxidants, nutrition, and health. Um, here's one example um, on the role of carotenoids, because I didn't really understand how significant carotenoids were when I first looked at this. But as I started to uh, do the research on the role of carotenoids and started to um, see a lot of the, the uh, results that patients were getting. Uh, the literature has been explaining why we see such a huge impact when we can boost these antioxidants. So this was a study out of Harvard University. This was actually published by the Journal of National Cancer Institute, um, showing that high levels of carotenoid antioxidants, which is exactly what the device measures, will significantly lower risk of breast cancer. So what a great tool to create awareness for women and this is a number that is easily modifiable within a, a couple months, we can boost uh, women's scores. And when you look at the literature on the role of oxidative stress, antioxidants, or carotenoids, this is a PubMed search on different disease states, you know, hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands of articles supporting the role of this for uh, many of these disease states here. And some more validation on the technology. So I, I mentioned Stanford, Yale, and Texas Tech. Uh, New York University College of Optometry has one. This has been published and presented at major ophthalmology conference. Um, it's based on Nobel Prize winning science. Uh, the company was awarded most innovative company in the United States by the American Business Awards. This is a, actually a pretty significant award. This is something that Apple Computer took first place in and uh, Pharmanex and Nuskin took first place for mid cap companies. Uh, they've also been featured on the Discovery Channel. There was a whole documentary done on some of their epigenetic research uh, where they're really taking product development to a whole new level, which I'll talk about later on in this webinar. They were the first company to get the um, approval to sponsor the U.S. Olympic team. They're NSF certified. They're listed in the Physician's Desk Reference, and they're top rated by uh, Forbes, Dun & Bradstreet, and Better Business Bureau. So this is a company that not only has been scientifically validated, but uh, also uh, the media and the, the business community. In fact, there's about uh, over 100 mutual funds that are investing in the company's stock right now. They're publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange and doing some really incredible things there as well. So when we really look at this, we look at the, not only do we have the ability to test, but we uh, the company has the only supplement that's been proven and guaranteed uh, to improve antioxidants. So it's a very simple way to introduce this to the patient. You scan them, you, or your staff scans them, it's easy to operate. They get the number in 30 seconds, non-invasively, very reproducible. Um, it's an easy number for to explain and for patients to understand. Low is bad, high is good. And as they do more healthy behaviors, take the supplements, uh, improve their diet, uh, quit smoking, lose weight, those are all the things that are gonna drive the number up. And when you couple a test, uh, a supplement line with a test, you can really make it a lot simpler to integrate things. And you'll find that you'll be able to 
to uh, get a lot more patients on supplements than you've ever been able to uh, before um, because it's just something that is just an easy thing for patients to understand. Uh, a little bit about the company here. So when I looked at Pharmanex, you know, the first thing I thought of was pharmaceuticals. I don't like the drug companies any more than any of you guys do. Uh, and I started to research kind of the, the genesis of how the company got started. And, and hear me out on this one because um, it was uh, actually, I was taken back at first and then I was extremely impressed. So these are the three founding scientists, Michael Chang, um, is actually, he was the former director of medicinal chemistry at Merck. Um, he actually discovered and developed the first statin drug, which he actually made the discovery of the impact of red yeast rice. And that's what led to the first statin. So these scientists were on the discovery side of the drug company. So they were experts at understanding natural medicine. They had researched about 50,000 plant samples during their careers for medicinal properties. And that would lead to the discovery of, of new medications. Joseph Chang, um, he developed the leading arthritic drug called Lodine, uh, the second leading organ transplant drug called Rapamune, which comes from Rapamycin, and uh, photocancer therapy. And Carl Gerasi invented the birth control pill from the Mexican yam. So what happened was, is as they were looking at all the research and all the data on how um, these natural compounds were having such great medicinal impacts, Every time they brought an ingredient to the drug companies to develop, um, the drug companies, as we know, can't patent things that are natural. So they'll manipulate the molecule so they can pull a patent on it and they can protect it. And what would happen then is you'd produce side effects. The drugs wouldn't be as active. And these three drug discovery scientists that were experts at natural medicine just got fed up with pharma and they wanted to take the natural products to market because they knew that the natural products work better. So they've got a, a tremendous background in, in, uh, in discovery of uh, natural products. And so the first thing they did is they went to a lot of the supplement companies. And when they went to the supplement brands to launch their products, you know, they didn't want to go with any of them because to them, nobody was doing the level of standards of uh, science, research, and quality control that they were used to seeing at Pharma. So they decided to start their own company in 1995. They raised... $46 million in venture capitalist funding. It was the biggest startup ever. And they launched their brand in about 40,000 pharmacies. And as they did that, um, you know, if you go down the pharmacy aisle, there's thousands of bottles there. It's very difficult for a consumer to decide what product to take, um, especially when you've got a product that's based on science, because in retail, it's all, it's all based on price and marketing and packaging, or maybe a 20 second commercial. And Pharmanex really built their brand based on science. So they currently employ about 100 full-time scientists. Nearly half of them are PhDs. Uh, first company in the sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. And they're sitting on a shelf with a bunch of junk. And so they knew they were doing pretty well in retail, but they thought they could do a lot better if they could educate consumers about the science of their products. And in retail, it's very difficult to do that. So after a few years, um, they uh, were looking for a better distribution channel. A uh, division of, uh, of uh, Monsanto actually tried to buy them. Uh, Wyeth tried to buy them as well. And both companies offered about $130 million. And the founders of Pharmanex didn't want to go in that direction. And so there's a third company that uh, called New Skin Enterprises, which is a skincare company. Um, they had grown by about 50 million to 500 million in sales in, in, a, in a less than a two year period. So they had a lot of money to invest in the future of the company. So they bought Pharmanex for about 130 million. They had a direct sales model, um, which is probably one of the most misunderstood business models. But uh, word of mouth marketing, we all know is the best form of marketing. And so what they did is they pulled everything out of retail. They went strictly through their uh, model of independent contractors and they tenfolded the size of Pharmanex uh, the first month compared to the 40,000 pharmacies. So the model worked really, really well, and they continued to grow the, the brand for about five more years. And then um, when you look a little bit about New Skin, you know, they've been in business now for 30, 34 years now. They've got the highest financial rating you can get by Dun & Bradstreet, which is like a credit score for corporate America. So less than 1% of corporations in the United States have this high of a rating. 
Uh, over a billion dollars in assets, $60 million is being invested every single year in R&D. They're publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, they actually just um, rung the uh, closing bell uh, about a month ago or so to the New York Stock Exchange. So very well-respected company. And so they had this in a direct sales model. And then what they ended up doing was uh, they ended up buying this testing device, this, this scanner, where it was uh, developed at the University of Utah Center for Biomedical Optics. And uh, it was originally for um, macular degeneration, and then it was expanded to cancer and some other things. And uh, Newskin's headquarters happens to be near the University of Utah. So there was a connection that was made, and they were looking at this device that was the size of a small room, and kind of like a, a weapon of mass destruction. And they thought that if they could take that, commercialize it, shrink it down, then they could bring it into the field and uh, people could actually test, uh, know their number, much like we know blood pressure and other things, and then be able to prove the effectiveness of the, of the supplement. So they invested over $100 million in taking that original scanner to where it is today. It was a major undertaking. And I came on board when they had their first generation scanner and I really looked at the business model very differently. I thought that this technology really belongs in the hands of healthcare providers. And I started to develop a business model to bring it to chiropractors, uh, to uh, health clubs, wellness centers, corporate wellness programs. Um, we didn't really, uh, we, we tried medicine for a little bit, but 15 years ago, medicine didn't really care about nutrition. Uh, things have changed quite a bit. We have hundreds of medical doctors that are using it right now in their practice. And I, I really think that, um, you know, we, we can get a lot more chiropractors using it to, to uh, promote wellness a lot more effectively. So we started to um, build it out into healthcare through a little bit of a different model. Um, I formed um, MD Solution and then uh, Healthcare Alliance to really develop a healthcare program where physicians can bring it into their practice. They test their patients. Uh, they recommend the supplements. And then the patients just go on a, a direct ship from the company. So... The nice thing is, is you don't have to inventory anything. You don't have to tie up resources to do that. You can simply just scan patients and the, the company will ship the product to them. And then you generate income on, on the test as well as uh, the product, which I'll go over the income towards the end of this webinar. And so the product line is really designed to address these antioxidants um, to reduce um, inflammation as, as well as oxidative stress in the body uh, to also build up the foundational nutrition so the body can function. And now they're going into a very exciting new area looking at gene expression, which is how our genes are functioning. And we now know that uh, there's ways of actually measuring the function of your genes, which is called epigenetics. And there's these, these uh, genetic chips that can actually measure in one experiment on a little silicon chip, uh, all 25,000 genes. And what we've been able to do now is measure the genes and how they function when you're young and healthy, like you can see on the left here. And then you can look at when the tissue is older um, and the not functioning as well, uh, the gene expression is much different. It, it, it reverses. And this gave us tremendous insights on the aging process throughout the entire body. This was actually done uh, by a third party out of the University of Utah, I'm sorry, University of uh, Wisconsin, um, funded by uh, the NIH, completely independently of PharmaNex. And they actually did a bunch of studies on caloric restriction and published about 300 studies showing the impact on aging and longevity and health implications. And they went back and reanalyzed their data with these gene chips and made this huge discovery on how we're actually aging and how we can measure it genetically. So what Pharmanex did is they said, well, can we take uh, these old genes and can we screen for ingredients to make the genes flip back to how they were when you were younger? So can we take natural product development to a whole new level and can we um, mimic the effects of caloric restriction and reset or restore the function of these genes? And they've been able to do that and ended up buying this genetic company, um, which are really the go-to people on looking at genetics and aging. They've been published in Science, Nature, two of the most prestigious journals to get published in. And what, the, what this um, new product called AgeLock Youth does is it targets about 1,000 genes in the body um, based and, and basically mimics caloric restriction. The mechanisms that it's targeting are antioxidant defense, systemic detoxification, DNA protection repair, inflammatory balance, tissue regeneration, and metabolism. So think about it. When you're young, it's pretty easy to stay healthy, right? 
Um, your body is functioning really well. Your genetics are optimized. Everything's functioning good. But as you get older, the genes are no longer functioning as well. And our body just starts to break down, kind of like an um, instrument getting out of tune. And what these genes impact is, is these impact really everything going on in the body from brain health, cellular health, heart health, metabolism, skin, bone, joints, eyes, physical performance, and, and immune health. And so we're really getting to the root at why people are losing their health from a genetic standpoint uh, based on the aging process. So a little bit of some research that was done based on this. So this, this was a study done on uh, the cerebral cortex. And so this is what the brain looks like when you're old genetically. So each one of these little slivers here represents a different gene. Um, and there are about a thousand genes or so that are, are listed here in the cerebral cortex. The impact of uh, slowing down aging based on caloric restriction can completely reverse aging in the brain. And this has been well documented. And this is what the gene expression looks like of this intervention of caloric restriction, which is the gold standard for aging. And this is what the AgeLock Youth product can do without caloric restriction. So the supplement is able to mimic the effects of the gold standard of, of slowing down aging, which is caloric restriction. And I've noticed an improvement in brain function, uh, memory recall, um, having to deal with uh, fatigue from my small uh, little kids that I have and being up late at night. The body just functions a lot more optimal when you can keep these genes functioning young. And they did human brain studies. So there's a way of measuring brain activity using functional brain MRI scans. This is the control group. If you want to look here at these yellow areas, notice the size of these areas of brain activation. And then in six weeks of treatment with the Age Lock Youth Supplement, you can see much larger areas of brain activation. This study is actually in the process of getting published right now. Very exciting what we can do for uh, brain health with this product. And so there's um, all types of practices that this is being implemented in. And uh, I think that it, it has such a natural fit um, into chiropractic. And uh, I believe that every single person coming into a practice should get scanned. Everyone should know this number because when people work on improving this score, we just see a whole bunch of health improvements. And it's a very simple wellness concept that patients embrace and they have fun with. And so a lot of us are very busy right now. This is a, a cartoon that I think is, is kind of interesting here. You know, you've got this knight here fighting a battle uh, with a sword and you've got these salespeople trying to get him to buy this machine gun, right? And he's too busy fighting the battle with the sword to even look at a better way of doing it. And uh, many of us are just, we're busy doing things the way that we've been doing it, fighting the battles with insurance, fighting the battles with patients, not paying attention to their health and all these types of things. And we really have this machine gun type of tool here with the biophotonic scanner with an incredible product line that is proven to work and is so effective at doing that. And so um, if many of you are busy, you know, take some time to, to take a look at this. I hope that this webinar is, is informative to you because my vision is that, is that we get 5% of providers using this technology and we'll be able to impact the lives of hundreds of millions of people in the United States because we just see a huge impact on what people do when they get scanned, how the products work for them, the other changes that they, they make, and really puts them on a, a much better path to health. Uh, here's my brother-in-law. Um, this is an example of, of someone. So this is someone that completely ignored his health. Um, him and his family never really paid attention, no matter how much I talked to him about how important his health is. He just did whatever he wanted, ate what he wanted, because that's what his family did, and he figured I'm healthy. If I get sick, I'll, I'll get a good doctor. And, um, and so when I scanned him for the first time, he's married to my sister. They have three kids together. And every time I went to visit him in New York, you know, it's rather upsetting to know that he didn't really listen to me and really wasn't being proactive to try and maintain his health. Because many people, as you know, think that health is the absence of disease, but we all know that people lose their health way before the disease occurs. And to be able to quantify that and give them a number based on um, you know where they are is, is something that's very impactful. So his first score was 16,000, complete failure. Did absolutely terrible. And um, his mother just got diagnosed with cancer um, around this time. And I had talked to her about her health. She didn't wanna do anything about it. Um, and she ends up with cancer and he gets scanned. And now all of a sudden this whole thing is real to him. 
And I started to scan, you know, my, my sister, I scanned their children and nobody really did that great, but he was the worst out of them. And, you know, some people will say, well, Hey, this is a, a device that just sells supplements. It doesn't. Yes. It's very effective at getting patients to go on supplements. Yes. The Pharmanex supplement line is the most effective line that I've seen, but it also motivates people to change their behavior, which we want them to do as well. And so he's pretty stubborn. He didn't want to take the supplements. He said he was just going to do it by changing his diet. Now, very few people are going to radically change their diet enough to, to um, change their score and, to, and get it into the optimal zone. But he tends to be kind of radical with things, especially when he wants to prove me wrong. So he went and got a Blendtec blender. He probably was spending or juicing $20, $30 worth of fruits and vegetables every day. And then I scanned him and he got up to 56000 so he did it just with changing his his diet and uh, made a huge improvement in his score. And he got the feedback that what he was doing was making a difference. But, you know, six months later, I rescanned him and he was back down at 30,000 um, because he couldn't maintain that. So the best approach, which I think we all understand, is is to scan people and to get them to change their diets, do the best they can there. They're, nobody's Most people are not going to be perfect every day. And to supplement with that so that they have that insurance to maintain that higher score. This is also great for children and families. These are my three kids here. Uh, Max is my oldest. He's almost seven now. Olivia is 18 months and Preston's four and a half. My children, or at least my boys, compete for their score. And they scan usually at least in the green zone. Uh, a lot of times they get into the blue zone and occasionally they get into the platinum zone. And they compete with each other on eating fruits and vegetables. And if you can get a, a he Preston understood this when he was two years old, the how to improve his score. And the average child is very sad. The average child scores about 16,000 where a pack a day smoker is. And when you can scan children and families and you can show them the impact of their diet and lifestyle, and not just themselves, but also their children, it's very motivating for them to, to change that. And children respond very quickly. Whenever I go to conferences and some of the doctors bring their kids and I scan them and I talk to their kids about improving their score and beating their parents and uh, eating fruits and vegetables, the color of the rainbow, the parents come back to me after lunch and they said, my kids were asking for carrots and broccoli during lunch and they've never done that before. And uh, kids can change behavior very, very quickly when you make it fun for them and you, and you gamify it. So what my goal is, is to really revolutionize the way that we look at healthcare. And this device is really a catalyst towards wellness. It's the most effective tool that I have ever seen. And it's something that also brings in some significant revenue into practices. Um, the investment for the device is pretty minimal. It's about a $3,400 investment to get started. And uh, that package includes really everything you need to get started. The devices are then leased to you for free on a month-to-month -month basis. Um, that's how the company is able to get them out there without these devices costing a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars because it, it it took over a hundred million dollars to develop it. So it'd be very expensive if all they did was try to recoup that investment through the devices. So they generate revenue through through the supplements. And um, what happens is the devices, like I said, are leased for free month to month. There's no long-term contract. The only expense of then having it in your practice is $125 a month. And that covers your insurance on the device, your service contract, all your upgrades, software, um, as well as hardware upgrades, which I wish Apple did with their iPhones. So everyone will always have the latest and greatest uh, devices. Nobody has the first or second generations. Everyone's been upgraded for free on that program. And it also includes some of your, your consumables. With that initial investment, uh, you get a supply of supplements of about $2,500 worth of supplements. You get your own web store. Um, you can attend our training that we have coming up on November 15th to 17th, uh, Thursday evening to Saturday afternoon at our global headquarters. Um, I'll be out there if you want to meet me out there. We, we do a really, really great training event there. And then we teach you exactly how to integrate this into your practice. Everything's been turnkey. We know how to get this to work in a practice. We know the challenges. We know how to fix them. And so you get ongoing coaching and support as well as all your marketing information that you need. So it's really a turnkey, very simple system to integrate into the practice. Most physicians will get a return on their investment within the first month or two. That's how quickly this thing works. So here's some of the, the revenue here. 
And I'm talking about a return on investment just in the revenue they make from the testing and the supplements. There's all kinds of ancillary um, things that this adds to the practice, like new patients, more frequent patient visits, uh, getting patients to, to embrace wellness a lot faster. So all these other things that add value to the practice as well. It's also a great tool if you want to get out into the community or corporations and do scanning events uh, to um, you know attract more patients into your into your practice. Whenever you set up that device, we we attract a ton of people that want to know their number. So most doctors charge twenty dollars for the test, and they they typically will include the sixty day follow up test in that. But it's totally up to you what you want to charge. Some some offices charge thirty, some offices charge ten dollars. Um, I'm not a big believer in doing it for free, but if you want to do that, you're welcome to do that. I don't think people value things that are free. So you know, doing five scans a day brings in about twenty five thousand dollars a year in testing fees. And uh, obviously, if you increase your, your scans you're going to do, you increase your revenue. And that's just the revenue from testing. So there's a whole new revenue stream that if you are marketing supplements, um, this brings in a, a revenue stream in testing as well. The revenue on the supplements, um, again, so what you do is uh, you test the patients. Uh, you recommend the supplements. It's a very simple, quick recommendation. Um, if you want to get more involved with more specific targeted products, the company has a great product line to do that as well. Um, that I'm a, a big believer that we need to start with the foundation first to allow the body to function and heal better. And then we can target some of these, uh, these, other, these other issues that the patient has. So um, every 100 patients will bring in an additional $50,000 a year that are on the supplements monthly. That's in addition to the testing fees. So no inventory, no products expiring, no things getting stolen, none of that hassles of, of uh, what typical offices do to maintain inventory in the practices. So uh, some physicians that we've used here. So here's a lot of medical doctors using it. Uh, Dr. Andrea Sullivan is a certified sports chiropractor. Uh, she says this is the best nutritional program she's ever bought into her practice. She's moving more supplements through her practice than she's ever done before um, because of this, this device and this product line. Um, Dr. Gonzalez is one of the leading experts in anti-aging medicine. Um, he's actually a speaker at two of the major conferences. Uh, he says this is the most significant thing that he's added to his practice to provoke change in his patients. Um, eye doctors are using it. And, um, and so we're just seeing great outcomes with the device as well as with the products. And so if any of you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, type in the chat uh, there. If you look on the right of this window here, you'll see there's a chat. If you have any questions, feel free to type in any questions. Uh, once this um, webinar will close, which we're at our last slide right now, um, there's a survey that will pop up. Just uh, take that survey. It'll take you one minute to do. That way we can get some feedback and uh, follow up with you accordingly. Uh, make sure to contact the person that invited you here and, and get started. I mean, this is a great thing that works really well. And, and uh, you'll join a community of people that are like-minded, that are motivated to really provoke change in healthcare and and really make a difference in, in your practice as well as make a, a difference um, you know, throughout the US and around the world. So uh, that's uh, the last slide of the webinar. I'm finished unless you guys have any uh, questions here. I'm gonna go into this chat screen. If anyone has any questions, feel free to chat. If not, uh, I'll give you guys about 30 more seconds and then I'll close the webinar and then the, um, um, the survey will pop up. So looks like we don't have any questions here tonight. So I hope you guys have a great evening and uh, thanks again for joining us. Take care. Bye-bye.